I think that Bernard Ryman could be the NFL's next great offensive lineman. The Central Michigan product was selected 77th overall in the 2022 NFL Draft by the Indianapolis Colts. And I think a big reason why was his athleticism. The former tight end actually dominated uh, his athleticism wise in the NFL Combine. And we all know that Chris Ballard loves guys with raw athletic traits, especially in the mid rounds. As a rookie, Ryman started 11 games, and just like the Colts season, it was not pretty at times. I mean, let's face it, there was a lot of controversy in the Colts season, mainly focused around firing Frank Reich for Jeff Saturday, an inexperienced guy. As Obviously, he had no experience as a coach, and for him to come in and lead this Colts team and make some of the decisions he made was highly scrutinized. But one thing that Saturday did, in my opinion, might have helped the Colts in a bigger way than a lot of people are giving him credit for. And that is about halfway through the season, he, he said, look, Bernard Ryman is going to start for the Colts for the rest of the season. And again, it was not pretty at times, but he played some big time pass rushers. Some guys like Matthew Judon, Chandler Jones, Brandon Graham, Demarcus Lawrence, Micah Parsons, Daniel Hunter, and Khalil Mack. And you think about playing guys like that as a rookie, I would argue that some of the top linemen in the NFL don't face guys like that throughout a given season. So that is huge experience for a guy like Bernard Ryman, who progressed big time throughout the season, according to Jeff Saturday and Chris Ballard. And as you read Pro Football Focus, their numbers back it up as well. They said in the last half of the season, they rated him a 70 in pass blocking. When you compare that to other rookie linemen throughout the past few, four, five, six years, he's in some elite company. I'm going to throw a graph up on the chart right now. Uh, Colts.com actually put this graph together, but I think it's very interesting to see some of these names that he's listed with. Um, actually, in fact, Pro Football Focus ranked Ryman as one of their breakout candidates for the 2023 season. Uh, part of the reason is because he had a, a plus 74 in pass blocking and run blocking grades. And I'm not saying that pro football focus is the end all be all. I like to gather information from multiple sources and I don't think any one source is perfect. So as fans and as uh, people who like to study the game, I don't think we can just throw one source away. I think we have to consider all the information we can and, and make our best judgment. Uh, Ryman also gained... 15 pounds this offseason heading into 2023 he's trying to he's trying to build up that base and become a stronger blocker which is huge obviously for Jonathan Taylor who's trying to have a comeback season in 2023 obviously he was nicked up he had a surgery this offseason but Anthony Richardson I mean let's the truth is Richardson had some question marks in college as a pocket passer and how he handles pressure so if the Colts have a strong franchise left tackle a steady guy, which they haven't had since Anthony Costanzo, that will be big for Anthony Richardson's development. So not only are we hoping that Bernard Ryman develops into that franchise guy, and we think that he might have the raw traits to do it because he's improved and he's had this experience against great guys, but we really need that for Anthony Richardson. So in my opinion, while 2022 had its ups and downs for Bernard Ryman, I think that experience that he got and the ability just to play those games against those pass rushers is going to be big for him. And if you look at his grades, his pro football focus grades, if you read comments made by Jeff Saturday, by Chris Ballard, they say they they say the same thing as pro football focus, which is, hey, this guy has improved. This guy's getting better hand placement. He was, he was just a more polished player as the season went on. Uh, so I'm excited for this guy. I want to let I want I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, please comment below what your thoughts are on Bernard Ryman. If you think he could be the Colts' next big time lineman, obviously playing right next to Quentin Nelson is going to help him as well. I think, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would mean so much. As at the Common Colt Podcast, we love making Colts content. We try to be we're fans. Obviously, it's a fan show, but we try being realistic about things. We try not getting too high or too low. But the truth is, we love the Colts. So if you want to be on a Colts ride with us, hit that button. Guys, again, thanks for watching and have a great day.